This is the latest from West Palm Beach as Hurricane Francis approaches with nearly hurricane force wind gust. Look at that boat out in the intercoastal. It's come loose from its mooring and it's heading south. This is Mike Seidel. We'll have more coming up and we'll check Sky Tracker and show you the latest position of Francis. All right, Mike, we'll check with you. And also, these are some of the first pictures we've seen of damage in Nassau in the Bahamas from Hurricane Francis. Winds gusting over 100 miles per hour tore roofs off buildings and knocked out the power. And it is very evident now parts of Florida seeing some of the fuller impact of Francis. Take a look at the waves here just off the coast of Miami. And before it is all said and done, we could see waves up to 15 feet and a surge of maybe 8 feet. And a good Saturday morning. I'm Bill Keneally. And I'm Kelly Cass. Thank you for joining us. We are in storm alert mode here at the Weather Channel as Hurricane Francis slowly but surely inches its way toward the Florida coastline. And thankfully it's lost a little steam, but not a whole lot, Kelly. Still a formidable Category 2 hurricane on that Saffir Simpson scale. Right now it's still pounding away in the western Bahamas. That's right. Uh, look at these pictures here. 105 mile per hour winds. On top of that, the area is still getting flooding rains because the storm has slowed down. We've had reports of roofs being ripped apart, windows shattered, and trees toppled by the storm. And Kelly, it's going to be very interesting to see what the hurricane hunters discover out there as they bisect that hurricane. Hurricane Francis still has winds of 105 miles an hour. It looks like it is edging westward now, a little bit faster maybe, heading northwest at about 6 miles per hour. As said, though, a new advisory should be in within about 20 minutes. And Cape Canaveral reported a wind gust of 67 miles per hour at 10.15 this morning. We've also had very strong hurricane force winds affecting Palm Beach and Broward counties. And there are the hurricane warnings that remain in effect from Florida City up toward Flagler, Flagler Beach. And further north, we have a hurricane watch still in effect. And what do you say we take you back now to Mike Slidell. He is out there on the Intracoastal Waterway yesterday on the oceanfront. Thankfully, a tad inland, and Mike, that a boat owner is not going to be a happy camper. No, he's not. That's not the first boat we've seen uh, floating by on the Intracoastal, getting ripped from their mooring with these uh, nearly hurricane force wind gusts and also the horizontal rain. It has rained harder this morning, and we're going to see a lot of rain. That's really going to be the big story inland. Uh, speaking of boats, the marina's right behind us, and you can see them bobbing up and down. They seem to be doing okay. We've not seen any boats from that particular marina uh, get, uh, get pulled from their mooring, but obviously it's still going to get worse. Now, as the wind picks up, we'll also see the uh, tide increasing over on the coast. High tide is a little after 1 o'clock this afternoon. We were able to get across the bridge from uh, West Palm over to Palm Beach. And this is what we saw about an hour ago. Uh, big, big uh, waves, the surf breaking way out. These waves have got to be at least to 12, if not 14 or 15 feet. And believe it or not, we found a guy who was actually going to go swimming. And he did go swimming. Don't you think it's a little bit dangerous going in the water? When it's uh, like this? Not right now. I mean, we're not going out far, it's running in and out. And uh, that's about it. But it's just, you know, an experience, once in a lifetime thing. Well, obviously the porch light's on, but no one's home with that guy. Uh, that is just not the thing to do. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to stay here and uh, keep, uh, keep you updated on the storm here from uh, West Palm Beach. Our truck, our photographer around the corner, hardly any wind around the corner, so I can just walk about 20 feet and get into safety if the wind gets too strong. But Bill and Kelly, these winds are gusting probably 50, 60 miles an hour easily. Now let's check in with storm uh, analyst John Neese. Dr. John has uh, been watching what's going on, and we've been following the radar, uh, John. What do you think as far as uh, that uh, outer eye wall getting in here to West Palm Beach and the, this part of the coast? Well, it's not all that far offshore, but drifting very slowly off to the west-northwest, Mike. Francis trying very hard to once again reform a closed eye wall, that ring of thunderstorms that surrounds the center of the storm. Let's get to the bottom line, though, right now in terms of Francis. We're expecting the center to reach the coast tonight, but hey, already the impact's being felt well ahead in the form of these bands of heavy rain and a 50 mile per hour plus wind gusts. Expect widespread sustained winds of 40 miles per hour or higher by the time all is said and done. And of course near the center, hurricane force sustained winds and a very high risk of severe flooding well inland. All this spread over a long duration as well, perhaps 24 to 36 hours. Very different than with Charlie, which came and went quickly and affected a much narrower path. Our track forecast brings the center onshore tonight in east central Florida. 
We'll likely see a few tornadoes and water spouts, especially along and north of the track of the center, then a crawl across the peninsula, possibly reemerging into the northeast Gulf on Sunday night. And despite ingesting some drier air over the last day or so, we see France is trying very hard to get a real eye back right there in the center, wrapping those thunderstorms around. And given the slow movement over the next couple days, a large area looking at eight inches or more of rain, including nearly all of Florida, parts of Alabama, Georgia, even possibly Mississippi by the time we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week with locally a foot or two of rain possible. Now to Kelly with more on the South. And that's